Hey there, it's Jane from the blog ChalkingUpSuccess.com and today I'm making DIY wood slice bunnies. For this project you're going to need wood slices, a drill, acrylic paint, dried flowers, craft paper, paintbrush, wire and some wood glue. The first thing I did was to cut a small piece off one side of the wood slices and you only need to do this if you're making a stand-in wood slice bunny. If you're making hanging ornaments from these you can skip that step. And now I'm drilling four holes into the top of the wood slice and you'll need to drill two holes on each side. The holes are for the wire that we'll be using to make the bunny ears. Once the holes are drilled, it's time to make the bunny ears from some pieces of floral wire. Bend the floral wire into the shape of bunny ears. I'm first wrapping it around a candle. The candle I'm using has a diameter of about 6 centimeters. That's about 2.4 inches. So repeat this step until you have all of the ear shapes that you need for your wood slice bunnies. Don't worry about the shape of the ears right now because we can always change that later. And instead of wire ears, you could use oval pieces of wood to make bunny ears instead. And if you have wood scraps in your craft bin, for instance, then this could be a great way of using them up. If you're not comfortable using a drill freehand like I'm doing, then use some clamps to clamp it to your table before you drill instead. And now that all of the wire ears are made, we can attach them to the wood slices. And to attach the ears, all you need to do is drip a small amount of wood glue over each hole before slipping the wire ears into the holes. Allow the wood glue to dry completely before attempting the next step. The wood glue is going to dry transparently, so there's no need to worry that it will be seen once it's dry. Squeeze the tip of the bunny ears together with your fingers to make a more oval shape. I wanted to give each of the bunnies a floppy ear on one side, so I bent it down a little bit until I was happy with the shape. And now that the base of our bunny is complete, the next step will be to decorate it with some dried flowers. I'm just arranging the flower stems onto the wood slice bunnies before I glue them because I want to see how they look first. I bought this pretty bouquet of dried flowers in creamy whites and pinks from Etsy and I leave a link to it in the description below this video if you're interested in getting some yourself. And then just select a few flower stems at a time and use the glue gun to attach them to the top part of the wood slice bunny. This craft project is also up on my blog and I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video. I always recommend that you read the blog post before you start one of these projects because there's usually loads more information on the blog than I can put up on YouTube. Next we'll add a little bit of simple decoration to the bunny ears. First cut a small length of ribbon and attach it to one of the bunny ears in a simple knot. And now our bunny needs a cute bunny face. And a great way to find cute designs for your bunny face is by searching bunny faces, surprise surprise, on Google. A heart shape makes the cutest bunny nose. To make the bunny eyes I used some black acrylic paint. 
First I used a paintbrush to create a squiggly line and then I painted in some eyelashes. Then add some dots of white paint over the top of the bunny eyes for some freckles. And I'm so sorry my camera cut out just as I was getting to the end of this video so you'll find all the details and the rest of the photos showing you how to make the face over on the blog. I hope you liked this wood slice project and if you did please give it a thumbs up and consider leaving a comment because it really helps me a lot. And that's all from me at Chalking Up Success this week. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.